My name is Ojo Isaac. I am the manager of Prestaria Concept, located at Ikeja, Lagos. Today's topic is on withholding tasks receivable. This is the type of tasks that the customers pay on your behalf and later send you a task certificate or a task credit for you to be for you to use to clear your own uh, account with C with uh, 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 Federal Inland Revenue Service. So when you have this credit and uh, there is time for you to prepare your annual reports, these credits are given to the auditors which the auditor used to prepare the company income task CIT. This he will use to negate the CIT, the task uh, certificate. I mean, we told the task certificate. The auditor will use to negate the CIT. This is what in US they do not collect withholding tasks. They do not collect withholding tasks. So what we do here in Nigeria is to customize it to suit our purpose here. So this is how we do it. So let's go there. Let's go to the case study again. So we have case study here. Look at it. We told it task receivable. On the first of on the eighteenth of January twenty twenty, AKC Nigeria Limited bought the following items on credit with invoice number zero six with withholding tax of ten percent. So these are the items that he bought. He bought a desktop, HP desktop, the laptop. Totally five one five. We have to invoice this to him. When he receives this as an invoice, then he will now prepare to pay. When he is going to pay, he will we we told this very he will tell this very uh, amount, the ten percent of one five one. That will now result to five one five zero zero fifty one thousand five zero zero. Then, when you are now posting it in your own search fifty, this is the format it will be. It will follow when Ekasin Nigeria Limited pays. So now this is the amount. It's going to less uh, fifty one thousand five hundred. The balance is what is going to uh, pay in your ledger. So this is what we are going to do. So let's go to uh, say 50. So the first thing is to post the invoice value. Let's raise the, inv the invoice for this very customer. Ekerson Nigeria Limited. So this is the Ekerson. So let's pick a date. A date. Let's say 26. Yeah, 26 today. Then then due date the due date is uh, in uh, june okay so let's pick uh, let's pick the let's enter the invoice number okay so let's enter the invoice number invoice number zero zero six okay so we have done that then the next thing is you come to the quantity column and the item column to enter the, the respective uh, columns. All right, we have ESA desktop 2 and HP desktop 5. Let's do that. Okay. 2. ESA desktop. ESA desktop 2. HP desktop 5. Five. Then the next item is Dell Desktop Three. Dell Desktop Three. Three. Dell Desktop Three. Yes, look at it. Amount it to five one five. That is five hundred and fifteen thousand naira only. So this is the invoice value. So if we post it like this, it's going to be posted as credit. 
is to be to the credit of Ekasi Nigeria Limited. So, we post. We save it. Saving me here, miss here, post. Let's save. I save it. It's already in his account. Okay, so the next thing now is when he will now pay. When Ekasi Nigeria Limited wants to pay, let's go to receive money. Task. Receive money. Receive money from Ekasi Nigeria Limited. So you can see that it's having two debts. The one of this withholding task and the one of the dishonor check. So let us post accordingly. So what is the reference number that he will use to uh, pay? So when Ekasi Nigeria Limited was paying, the invoice number is the receipt number and the uh, bank check that he used to pay. So he pays with uh, UBA, UBA num check number 0229. Yeah, this is what he pays with. So the same thing we are going to now uh, also post to this very account. So this is U. U B A. Okay, so this is the reference number. So we select a cash account here, U B A. I select U B A cash account. So after that, the receipt number I will give eleven. Eleven receipt number. Now, when is he paying? Remember the date uh, he, 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 he collected these goods was twenty six. He's paying on the thirtieth now. On the 30th of uh, May. So let's see how much is he paying. So we will now check the amount he's going to pay. I've calculated it here 10% less this amount will give you 463,500. So this is what I've just calculated there. The total invoice number less 10% of this. So you get the uh, this uh, amount 46. 463500 that is what he's paying so we will now enter it here against this very invoice 006 against this very invoice that is what he's paying against 3500 for the 6 3 5 500 that this is what he's going to pay at the end of the day so for good uh, for goods supplied for goods supplied okay so this is what he's going to pay when he finally decides to pay the 10 percent have been withheld by him so let's post it down we post that is saved you can see that it has saved okay let's call up this very particular customer's uh, data that is uh ekasi ekasi data I call up a You can see this is the amount that he withheld. This very amount that he withheld is with him over there. So after a while, it may take one month or two months, as the case may be, he will go to the bank to pay this money with respect to your own uh, uh, account in Federal Revenue Service. We tell them that he's paying with respect to your own account there. That is uh, your withholding tax account with Federal Revenue Service. That he wants to pay this very morning. And presently, there's a code. It's not online payment. It's not online payment. There's a code for designated for this. So he will go there and pay. After making the payment to the bank, he will get, he will send you the notice. That is to say, the deposit slip or the transfer or whatever means that he used to pay with respect to the uh, with all the tasks. What you will do when you get that, you will use it to fill this very uh, this very uh, section. You will now come to receive money and select a uh, person, then enter the various references. Let's say he, he pays with echo, so you will now say echo. So, you will enter it like this, 
Then after that, you are going to now select the date. So you select the date. Let's say the date is uh, 31st of this uh, month. Okay, you have done. I've selected that. Then the last thing you will now do is go to where? Cash account. Under this cash account, you are going to select withholding tax payable account, which you have already set up in your current assets uh, ledger. If you have not done that, you have to do, do that under the charts of account. So you can see withholding tax uh, receivable here. That is 14050. Please don't forget, you need to set up this before posting this very particular suggestion. Why I came here now is because I already have it there. Yeah. So I click on withholding tasks here, which I have done. So this account is going to be warehoused in that very particular ledger. Okay. So I will now say uh, WT, that is withholding tasks. Withholding tasks from, from Eckerson. From Eckerson. Okay. Eckerson. Okay. So press the tab key. And I will click on pay. You can see the transaction have been selected. All right, I click on save. Then it will ask me, warning, the reference number, okay, receipt number have been used. So what I will now do is for me to change this receipt uh, number to some 15. Let me see if it will also ask me again. Save again. Yeah. The start receipt number is already be entered here. Okay, that means I've entered a lot of a uh, receipt in this very particular posting. Okay, so let me use uh, twenty now or twenty-five, twenty, twenty-five. Oh yeah. Okay, I go there again. So it didn't ask me again. So it, what did not ask me is that you have selected an account which with an account type that is not typically used for this cash account on this transaction. I said yes, it is true. It's not a mistake. I can go ahead and save that. So I have saved it. Let's call up this very particular Ekasi again. Okay, so what do we do? We come here and say Ekasi. Call it up. So you can see that amount has disappeared. This amount that you received is supposed to be it's not in your it's not in your cash account. It's in your account uh, we told it tax receivable. It's done in your bank account. So we created that ledger to use it to warehouse the kind, this kind of a uh, transaction when it occurs. Please don't forget to do your own like that. Okay, so let us go to report. The report we are going to see now is uh, go to financials. Then under the financial, let's look at uh, this uh, uh, balance sheet and see if uh, the withholding task receivable is ledger is there okay WHT okay we can see is that uh, withholding task receivable there's there are some amount of money there before so your the money you have there before and plus this one that you look at it I can set it two the brought forward look at it and this correct one so these two now completed into this very particular two two so after you have recorded it you wait for your task credits. These task credits is what you will get from your customer or rather from uh, Federal Inland Revenue Service, whichever the case may be. This is what you will file. And as you do that, at the end of the year, you will provide this to your auditor all the task credit that you have acquired over the years will be provided to your auditor to help you use to prepare and uh, negate the CIT that is to use it to reduce the CIT liability that is company income tax liability so that is the essence of getting the certificate if you are not be getting your certificate, I enjoy you now to please ask for your certificate and also post this uh, 
with only tasks regularly for all your customers that have collected your money. So when you do that, you will be able to have a good report. This is what you will do. This is how you are going to post it. Let's go there. We go to task. Select general journal entry. Then you select the year you are, the very month you are posting it. Assuming we are posting it this month, then CIT, CIT 0012. So the next thing you will do is to go to the general ledger column to debit CIT account, which is 2 3. That is the liability account. We have to debit that liability account because the credit side would have been prepared and would have been entered by you. And this is what you got from the auditor. So we post it. CIT, Company Income Tax. We look for it here. If it has been set up, it's not set up, you create it. So let me see if it's already here. Company Income Tax. So we look for it there. Company income tax. It's here. This is it. So, you now say, um, company tax for the year. Company tax. Okay. Press or tap key. Say it's 200,000. 200,000. Then press or tap key to go to the next row where you will now post the credit aspect of it. So the account you are going to credit will now be the this very withholding tax account. So let's look for it here. This is withholding tax account. So by the time you do this, you will be able to uh, get this proper posting. All right. Okay. Uh, let's uh, reduce this amount because of the amount we have on with the tax account. We have 100 and 103. 103,000. Okay. So, 10 against 103,000. So, when we do this, you are now using this very particular posting to reduce your tax liability pay for your tax liability. The auditor knows this very well. But if the auditor does his paperwork and you do not do your own software work, the account will not be balanced and it will not be in the same position with the auditor's audited statement. So, and this is one of the journals that the auditor will also pass and uh, it will give you. So please know this and know this okay save i've saved it after saving it i will now uh, close it so let's go to that report again now go to task uh, general financials balance sheet go to balance sheet I open it up balance sheet so let's look for it is it there it's not there again it's been cleared that is to say we have utilized that amount in a uh, we told the task receivable ledger. This is how to post the final aspect of it when the auditor finally prepares the CIT. This is how to post uh, we told the task uh, receivable in Sage 50. This is the way to post it in Sage 50. Please don't forget to click on the like on and subscribe button so that you will continue to receive our training uh, materials thank you